see your trip, you just click the view button. The red line shows you exactly where the boat traveled, uh, where there's no data that shows where we were going over 20 miles an hour. All right, so we're gonna zoom into this area. Here's the contour option. You can just see where the depths are. The darker blue is the deeper. And you can change that contour interval, but sometimes, especially on a steep grade, you may want to have the 10 foot just to kind of have less clutter. But even that there, that gives me way more detail than what I was currently looking at with the existing map that was on that particular body of water. The next option is the vegetation. Here it shows the contours just to show that we're getting data back. In this one, we obviously it's a rock area. We weren't expecting any vegetation and this confirms it. All right, so we go to the composition layer next. This is what I really want to see. <laughs> so here again, we have the contours. It shows both. We can control that. But you can see the variation. Very hard is dark red. And it, as it goes softer, it gradiates to the gray. So in a sense, when I'm looking here, where that's really bright red, OK, that, that dark color, that's where the boulder fields are. That's where a lot of the rock is. But one of the things that I've never really paid attention to is the two soft spots that come right into that saddle. What happens there is that's where a lot of the insect hatch comes up, okay? So those bugs that are coming up through the water column, which attracts the forage base out from that deep water. And consequently, that's where the walleyes and smallmouth hang out to ambush those fish when they come in through that saddle. That's the spot on the spot. So you don't want to fish down here. We're going to drop a waypoint exactly where you want. All you do is right click, add the waypoint, say, uh, we're going to call this saddle. And then we can export that and take that to our boat and know exactly where we want to fish. So I can put my waypoints in right here and then they're already in the unit once I download it to, or put the card in the, in the unit. Easy to take with an SD card, yep. So let's show the sonar log replay. This is an interesting way to validate what we're seeing here. The sonar log is exactly what we record on the unit and take to the SD card, and it's replayed right here. This yellow dot correlates specifically to this sonar view. Okay. When it transitions from the more orange and, and red to the hard yellow, and you can see the second echo here, I'm getting a much harder echo return. To correlate that to over here, where the boat is sitting, that's directly over that boulder section where those fish sit. Another feature that Genesis offers is you can make trip notes. Speaking of not remembering things, you can say, okay, here's a rock spine. And you can put your notes in here saying, okay, I used this type of bait or I used whatever technique, and you can search on that. All right, some of the other things you can do while you're online, you can put a data offset. So if you know the water's up or down, you can add an offset here. So when you do a merge, it takes trips from other layers and normalizes the depths. All you do is you click here, it grabs all the sonar logs that you've uploaded from that body of water, and then you hit merge. You also have some trend data. It pulls in data. It knows exactly where you were and when you were there. So now we have the map ready. We want to take it to the boat. The first time we do this, we have to register our units. We go to My Plotters. You'll need your serial number and content ID. And what you do is you go to your About screen on your unit and pull that information off each unit that you're going to be using it. Here's a, an example on an HDS. You go to the system and then you pull your serial number and content ID and you'll type that into here after you've put the type of unit. You can type any name you want here, and then you type your content, serial number and content ID, hit create. To create a map, there are only three steps. The first step is to select the unit that you wanna put the map on. Next, you say what type of map you want. Do you want just the contours, you want vegetation or composition? And then you can select the contour interval and then you hit generate. When it's done, you'll say save to, you'll navigate to your SD card. The final step that you have to do is to double click on the file. So it unzips the files. I'm gonna grab those individual files, drag them to my SD card, copy them there, and now we're ready to go. Maps can only be read by the chart plotter it's registered to. You can make multiple maps for multiple chart plotters as map files are generated for specific devices. For more information on how Insight Genesis makes the most of your time on the water, visit InsightGenesis.com.